Welcome to Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015, Designing and Implementing Monitoring and Archiving. My name is David Pampkin. In this video, we're going to be demoing implementing monitoring. And we're going to do is enabling monitoring reports first, install monitoring reports, and then review CDR and QOE monitoring reports next. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Topology Builder, and I'm going to download on this one, and then save it, of course. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to expand um, in the headquarters. I'm going to go into here, the front end um, pools. I'm going to add it to properties on the pool. And then I'm going to do is go down a bit about monitoring. Right here in metrics. Now in the SQL Server store. Very good. I'm going to take the London one in here. Okay, and I'm going to do topology and publish, and we'll see what happens. Sometimes I may not have a server on or something that's going to give an error, so we'll see what happens on this one. If so, I will correct it. Say next, so the thing is for topology. As you can see, I'm in the topology with no errors. The next thing I'm going to do is I have the PowerShell open here. Now remember, this is the one with a module loaded. It's basically PowerShell with a module loaded for Skype for Business. Great, I started that service. And I'm going to go into the deployment wizard. Next. And I'm going to click on Deploy Monitoring Reports. So, and of course, the monitoring database will be London SQL 1 and the SQL Server. It's a monitoring database. The re reporting instance, great. Okay, now the username, I'm going to do in this is. Let's see if I type that incorrect. And the read only user group is going to be the RTC, Universal Read Only Admins. That's great, and so it's finished. Monitoring reports have been successfully deployed. Next thing I'm going to do is review the CDR and QOE monitoring reports. I'm going to switch over to client one. So to view these monitoring reports on the Skype for Business control panel, SFB1, on the home screen, view monitoring reports. I'm going to click on here because this is where the reports are on. As you can see, the different kinds of reports we have available here called diagnostic reports, media quality diagnostic reports, user activity. I'm going to click on the dashboard. Now, as you can see, as I don't have any data here because I haven't made any calls. So I'm just showing you all the different data that we have on here available. System usage data, per call diagnostics data, 
all these different kinds of for diagnostic, call diagnostic staging, call diagnostic staging. Media quality, media called quality diagnostics, etc. Now, when I take a look at any of those, I can click on monthly view. And you can see reports over here. Now, these are all the different reports like I mentioned earlier. Called diagnostic for user. Called diagnostic report. CDRs. Media quality. Diagnostic reports. If I take any one of these reports, for example, what I can actually do is this. I can go under it. I can actually do is on this. I can click on this. Review it. And then afterwards on this one, I should be able to do is actually save this one. Right here. And you can look at this, for example. And I can save it at all these different ones. There's some LCSV, Excel, etc. And I could do this, for example, I could say, save as. This will conclude this video. In my next video, I'm going to be implementing archiving.